Thank you for attending the Burdett Services Payroll Year-End Webinar. Today we will be discussing how to successfully complete your payroll year-end. The payroll year-end checklist consists of many different things. First is to back up your database. Second, install and activate the latest tax update. Update federal and provincial tax forms. Update the TD1 Claim and Act Pack or manually update each employee. Then print the T4 forms for employees, employers, and a summary for the CRA. Step one is to back up your database. In order to back up the database, please go to All Programs, Sage Act Pack, Tools, Database Dump. Select the database in which you would like to dump. Select the folder to which you'd like it to save to, then click Dump. You'll need to install and activate the tax update. Tax updates are needed to produce government reports and process payroll correctly. Sage Act Pack will provide you with this update. It'll be a link to which you will launch a download and allow that download to run. Once you have installed the update, you'll need to activate the update in data activation. As you can see from my image below, my update was from July 1, 2010. Yours will be January 1, 2011. You'll need to update the federal TD1 form. This is required to be done yearly. Update provincial TD1 forms as well. If you have employees that are outside of Ontario, please make sure that they fill out the proper form for their province. Ours below is Ontario. You'll update the employee records. There are two ways to complete this. One, using the update TD1 claim or manually changing each employee record. Using the TD1 claim, you'll pick the tax in which you would like to update, select the employees from and to or all of them, put in the factor to which the government provides you, then click update. You'll need to do this for all taxes. Updating taxes manually requires you to go to the employee record, select the taxes tab, select the tax, click tax info, and that'll bring you to the image that you see on screen. On the total tax credit, make sure that number is the same number that is on the TD1 forms. Finally, you'll print the T4 forms for employees. By February 28th, employees require a copy of their T4 statements. ACPAC has the ability to print the government report in the template they require. To access the form, please go to Sage ACPAC Payroll Government Reports T4. ACPAC also has the ability to process T4s electronically. To print the T4 report, you will need to select the payment year that you're looking to close. The form that you're looking to pick if you would like the template would be plain paper for employees, employers, and CRA. Select the employees to which you would like to run the report for, then click Print. You will see this template print if you select Plain Paper from ACPAC. All of the boxes are manually filled in for you, so you do not need to do this on your own. It's all decided based on the earnings and deductions that you have set up. Thank you for attending the Payroll Year-End Webinar. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me at the information provided. Thank you and have a great day.